Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome, friends, to Cut the Tape. That's right, I am Rick Alvarez here at the world-famous Frame and Picture Shop in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. My shop. Get all your stuff framed here. Please, please get your stuff framed here. So, uh, I was messing around down in the basement last night. It's very cold down there. I'm not filming down there. It's very cold, very evil. And uh, I bought a, brought a box up with a lot of brown boxes in it. So today, if it's brown, we're gonna cut it down. Brown box, brown box, brown box, brown box, brown box. I don't know what's in these boxes. I refuse to look to see what's in these boxes. So, th this is how they ship the box. The Amazon, really? So, if you don't want this to happen to you, here's the hack. If you're buying stuff off Amazon, mark it as a gift so that they have to take this and put it inside another box so you don't get any of this. You know what? I just realized it has my address on it. Don't freeze frame that. All right. This is a box. Obviously, it says Hasbro on it. I don't know what's in this box. It doesn't tell me on the outside. It just says USA and Canada. Paper box. That's all it says. Let's find out what's inside. So this show only exists so that I can get motivated to open stuff that I will let things just sit for years until I open them. I've, I've got well over 300 Lego sets that just, they're just sitting there. I have so many Lego sets that I haven't built that they're starting to make new versions of those Lego sets that I have. So my process is I take the Lego box, I put it by the stairs. That means I'm gonna take it up and open it. The box makes its way to the top of the stairs and it sits there until I decide today's Lego day. It's, let's play with Legos. Legos take up a lot of space. So, I've had a box, I've had the, the throne room with Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader and, and Jedi Luke in there. And it's been sitting there so long that Lego has made another version of the same set, a better version, and that set is discontinued and out the door. First world problems. First world, but for how long? Ooh. Stay tuned. All right, first brown box is cut. We have, oh, very nice. Sideswipe and Eagle Face. Yeah, Maximal Skywarp. I, I understand that this character is a deep cut. Originally called Silverbolt, part of uh, Magna Boss. But they gotta call him Maximal Skywarp. Skywarp being a Decepticon, they're, they're calling it Maximal Skywarp. Why not Silverbolt? I mean, think about how many sandstorms we have. We got Scorponok Sandstorm coming out in Legacy. We have Generation Sandstorms out the wazoo. We got a G2 Ramjet Sandstorm. Maximal Skywarp. All 
All right, let's just go ahead and uh, cut this tape. Now, a lot of people stick their fat sausage fingers in here and they crease that box. Nope, that's not how we do things. If you wanna keep the, I mean, if you're gonna open up a his tank, yeah. I mean, they're like 15 bucks at Walmart now. I bought all the his tanks. I just stick my, I just rip the box open. But I wanna keep this box, I wanna display this box. Oh, and I'm gonna put a little note in this box saying what it was. So one day when I don't sell this, I'll just put it back in. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna leave this to my kids. I'm gonna leave this mess to my kids. All right, so I take the non-sharp side of the blade, stick it in, lift the box flap up. No crease, no crease, beautiful. That's how we like to do it. Give it a little, a little yank. Now this is the earth mode of side swipe. Now, you know, I appreciate the concept that, hey, let's do a, we're gonna do a Cybertronian mode and then we're gonna do an earth mode, right? I appreciate that. But these are way too close to each other. I mean, these are just like, they're like practically the same thing. Way too close, way, way too close. And I believe the Cybertronian version didn't even come with. I just, I mean, I, I'm going to give him points for trying concept wise. Absolutely. You know, great concept. Do Cybertronian mode, do an earth mode. I mean, it's necessary. It's necessary to have, I love the tampo on the chest. Love that tampo, not a sticker, it's a tampo. I love that. Nice and tight, it's side swipe. Um, I would say this is a superior design to the chug, to the classics side swipe. Could be a little taller, but that's nitpicking. That's just me nitpicking, me nitpicking, all right. We have not Silverbolt, who is an air razor remold. And we have freed him from his package. Love the detailed head, the little bird on the head, such as the original toy. I mean, it's very detailed, great throwback. Make sure you get all the little bits and pieces. And then always check the back in case there's a little envelope with pieces in there. All right, fantastic, fantastic. Exo, exo lent. Put these little arm cannons here. This actually feels a little tighter joint-wise than her razor. I remember her legs being a little loosey-goosey, but this guy's got nice, nice tight joints. Yeah. You know, I'm happy with this. I never in a million years thought that we would get a Generations. I'm still calling it Generations. Chug, Legacy. Silverbolt. I mean, the name side. I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier with this. It doesn't need to combine. It'd be great if they made, you know, if they put out an elephant and they called it, they didn't call it Ironhide. Is it still Ironhide? I mean, is this still silver? I mean, to me, it's Silverbolt because I was there when this originally came out in the Beast Wars line. I was there. I'm that old. I know I look like I'm even older, but I'm not that old. I'm just slightly old. 
instructions. Yep. You know, instead of making a uh, little note saying, oh, what was inside this box? I'll just put the instructions inside that box so that I know, hey, inside that box was this box. Fantastic. All right, this one has a label on it. I'm not gonna look to see what the label is. This one is War for Cybertron Trilogy. This is an older one. Not gonna see who it is. Not gonna see who it is. Now, I always get one to open, one to keep sealed, but with the brown box, I don't feel it's necessary. Unless there's a box inside the box. And there, oh, there's not, but. I think Sound Blaster was like the one guy. I opened them and I'm like, oh, there's a box in here. Very nice. US official release of Art, they call them Art Fire? Art Fire Nightstick. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. How wonderful is that? How absolutely wonderful is that? Gorgeous. And I love that there's no, no twist ties holding him down. And you know what? For being an exclusive, this figure is super tight. I like my figures tight. Toys. To I like my figures tight. Man, the plastic quality is almost feels like there's a different thickness between the arms and the legs. This may be one of those figures where I get that third party set to just to fill in the little pieces here. Those aren't always necessary, but this guy, you know, it just feels, it feels necessary with this guy. I'm gonna have to look into those sets. And of course, the Target Master is just a uh, reissue of a weaponizer. Very nice, very nice. We have instructions and white sheet of copyright. Put this over here. All right, hand sanitizing time. Who else we got? Let's do this one. This box. This box. Brown box Saturday. Brown box Saturday. Brown box Saturday. Oh, it's one of those coin guys. The golden disc guys. I haven't opened any of those yet. I wonder if I have all four. I know I have all four. I just wonder if I have all four here. Oh, pterosaur. Very nice. Now, you put all four boxes together, you form the golden disc. However, all four boxes are not the same size. Again, points for trying. Great concept. But the boxes weren't all the same size. Now, could be a little wasteful to make all the boxes the same size. But display purpose, I mean, you're doing something that's meant to be displayed. So if you're gonna do it, do it all the way. All right, so with here, Pterosaur, that little envelope, that little piece of paper with tape, it's got parts in it. Be aware, oh, look, very nice. We have a official Chug Golden Disc, again, did I ever think we'd get to the part where Sounds of Earth, where we'd actually get this in the Generations line, where we get Beast Wars in the Generations line? Well done. Now this, I believe, is a heavy remold of Air Razor or Maximal Skywarp, AKA Silverbolt. Pterosaur is one of my favorite characters on Beast Wars. Hey, 
Hey. He and Scorponok were dispatched at the beginning of season two at the dawn of the Transmetals. But they were supposed to come back. They were being transformed, transmetal wise, as they fell into the lava. Uh, but the story just didn't allow for them. They never got around to it. Who knows? There was a transmetal pterosaur figure. Who knows if that's what would have been in the show or if a something like a transmetal three. These little pieces were in this little piece of paper. And they, yeah. Oh, they go in the arms. You know what? I don't like the transform. <laughs> I don't like the transform things on the show because it's just kind of dead air. <laughs> but I think I found. <laughs> this is like, uh... God, this is very animorph style. <laughs> uh. Man, that pterosaur head, that is dead on, especially with the smirk. <sighs> I wish this would bend down more, but alas, it does not. Very nice. I like that he's petite. That wing keeps falling off. That's gonna be very annoying. Don't do that again. Okay. Super tall. Super, super tall. I wonder if this actually, yeah, this looks like it has to come down just a little bit. There we go. Now this, this head has fallen off. <sighs> well, it is what it is. It is a super petite, super tall pterosaur. It's almost too tall for pterosaur. He's taller than Sideswipe. Now a pterodactyl could be huge, could be bigger than a Lamborghini in real life, but you know what this guy needs? He needs his blaster. Oh yes, and he does have it. Excellent. He's got his blaster. Does he have a way of holding the golden disc? No. Does it matter? No. Doesn't matter. Pterosaur. Super happy with it. It's tight, except some of these pieces do fall off, but the legs and arms are super tight, which means it's going to be super easy to stand. That head. Mm -mm -mm. Is this a remold? I think this is an all new figure because pretty sure this takes the same design structure but made a new figure out of it. All right. Well, I'm happy. I'm four for four. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm gonna put this back. Today I'm listening to One Hit Wonders of the 60s in my shop. I like to play music for people when they come in. Makes it a nice atmosphere. All right, we're 18 minutes in. Uh, maybe one or two more. Brown box. I don't know who's in this one. I think there's a name on it that's facing towards you guys, so you guys might know faster than I do. It's a Voyager. Oh, it's Mutant Tigatron. What an odd name. It's Mutant Tigatron. So, let's take our pterosaur box out. Uh, 
Let's take our pterosaur box out. Anyway, see the difference <laughs> in, the, in the size of the boxes? <laughs> All right. This has the alternate head from Beast Wars. Beast Wars, when originally developed, the larger deluxe Voyager and leader characters had a head and then a battle head. So when they went into battle, the head would uh, transform. This is the Tigatron figure, which I have yet to play with. So this is my first exposure to the Tigatron figure. It's not a cheat or a repaint. We live in a society where there are two Tigatron figures which are new molds and not repaints of Cheetor. Sometimes I think we're, uh, we're a little spoiled. Couldn't be happier, but sometimes I'm like, eh, Hasbro Takara, you spoil us sometimes, you know? This has that battle helmet. It does not have the regular Tigatron head. Gosh, I wish Cheetor would have come with this weapon. Man, I gotta say, usually exclusives are loosey-goosey because they're the second run of the figure. But all the joints have been super tight on this. Man, I really do like this. Uh, little history on where this character comes from. The original Tigatron Deco back in Beast Wars was not a white tiger, it was this. And so this is bringing a piece of what could have been history that was changed into the modern day. It's like, um, it's almost like a days of future past, no way home theme going on. I like the size of this. I like the bolt. Man, it is, this is the tightest figure yet. Super tight. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can transform it. I'm at the point in my life where it actually hurts my hands to transform things. I was messing around with the Cacus. It's Cacus. 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 Last week. And it was just like, oh, it's a beautiful figure, but I need a break. All right, so we got two out of the four. I'm guessing this is another one of the Golden Disc figures. I forget who was in, it was Pterosaur, Tigatron. I forget, Pterosaur, Tigatron. And, oh, very nice. Huff, Hufflepuff and Road Ranger. Puffer and Road Ranger. Great. Pipes is another figure that I just have sitting around that I haven't opened. History on these guys. Where do these guys come from? This is another deep cut. And kudos to them for producing this for us. This is inspired by the South American figures. Uh, was it Jostra? No. Argentinian figures. Estrella, I think it was. That's why we write things down in books. Speaking of books, you can buy my book. And it has all the mini bots in here. So, here are all the McDonald's ones. You know, I'm a fan. God, where are all those mini bots? Here we go. So, let's see. Awesome. We got Puffer. Right here. And 
We've got Road Ranger, which uh, we have Road Ranger in the book. Road Ranger might have been a European one. I don't think we have Road Ranger in the book, but get so many different versions. So many different versions. This gives me hope that we're actually going to get a bumper, like a real life, like it's not a cliff jumper, it's not a bumblebee, it's a bumper. Happy with these guys. You know what? I've got, I got a feeling I know what these are. These are rescue bots with clear parts so i'm guessing this might be the last golden disc guy let's see and it is and i forget who it was oh jackpot good selection Lots of stuff for me to play with today. I'm gonna to put them behind me. Uh, it's great having your own business because you can have stuff sent to here and not to the house so that the wife doesn't go, you got another box today. Anyway, do what I do. Get a business so that you can have stuff sent to you or have it sent to your office. Wash your hands, get vaxxed, stay healthy. Be kind to one another. I'll be at TFCon in March. Let me know where I need to eat in LA. I love pink hot dogs. That's amazing. And in and out Burger. Stay safe. Love you. Thank you. And always find time, even when you're at work, to cut the tape.